Hi, this is Dennis DeSantis from Ableton. In this quick tutorial movie, I'm going to show you how to use the capture and insert scene command to quickly organize uh, your work in live session view. So the scenes, if you use live for a while, you are probably using scenes. You can launch a single scene from one of these buttons on the, uh, in the master track here, which launches an entire row of playing clips. But often in the early stages of working on a track, your session view probably looks something like this. There's clips scattered everywhere. You don't know which ones are any good, and you don't know which ones you might want to play together, which is fine. You can just start experimenting. So I'm just going to launch some clips now that are in these various uh, scene locations in my session view. And hopefully I end up with some kind of combination that I like. So let's see, just playing clips in various scenes. Okay, so now I have a collection of playing clips that I'm pretty happy with, but they're all over the place. They're scattered all over my session view, and I'm never gonna be able to find this particular collection of clips again. So what I'd like to do is get these into some kind of organized uh, place, and the best way to organize things in live is into a scene. So, what I can do, instead of having to drag the clips that are playing to a specific scene location, I can press Control shift i on Windows, or Command shift i on a Mac, which I'll do right now. And what I've done now is created a new scene at the bottom here. That key command is the Capture and Insert Scene command. And what this does is creates a new scene directly below the currently selected clip slot, which is all of the currently playing clips. And it immediately transitions to that scene, launches it and transitions to it so that it starts playing seamlessly at the spot that you were at before. So now if I stop Live's Transport, you can see all of these clips here in this new scene are the originally playing clips. And I can launch this scene again just from a single button and get back to exactly the sound that I had before. So that's a quick tip on using the Capture and Insert Scene command to organize your work in Live Session View.